Hey guys, I'm going to go over a list of potential sponsorships I feel would make sense for Magic the Gathering. Uh, Magic the Gathering has to go forth and get sponsorships for its professionals, for the game, just like League of Legends. So in League of Legends, you don't see people wearing t-shirts that say League of Legends like Magic Pro Tour. In Magic Pro Tour, the sleeves and the play math and the deck box are all kind of regulated but could you imagine that happening in league of legends where tsm wears non-tsm material i can't imagine that so one of the first sponsors that i immediately came up with because the margins on these are very good are magic the gathering deck boxes not just any type of deck boxes uh, this type of deck box which uses the magic symbols the magic uh, mtg it's already so magic ingrained and utility and the margins are have to be huge i know this is handcrafted yada 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 but 80 90 100 dollars for a deck box that's gotta have good profit margins and it would be very easy to give a pro you know this free product and have them promote it would you rather see this picture or would you rather see a pro holding this box and saying hey you know i use this box in my cube hey i enjoy this box i use this box when i go on a pro tour especially when a pro is going to these events and there might be camera time when he's you know taking out his box taking out and people are like oh what's that box right on stream so boxes make a lot of sense uh, popeyes and kfc i've kind of lumped them together it, it really is going to be a ton of snacks and food because snacks and food in league of legends it's computers and intel and htc and all these computer brands but for magic players the snacks and food are a huge part of how magic players live and i think kfc and popeye i love popeyes and i always have popeyes hot pockets for those magic online i could see hot pockets working extremely well for magic online and there is a streamer who promotes hot pockets and i feel like that makes a a lot of sense to me because i feel a lot about if magic players eat it then a company might be willing to sponsor you know a hot pocket play mat like i'm being totally serious i could see this um i even for the next example i see play mats that look exactly like this at my locals all the time and there's no sponsorship in and out burger um i see play mats like this all the time i see sleeves like this all the time like you can go dave and adams and buy like hamburger sleeves from like in and out burger it's kind of ridiculous but if you had a play mat like this or you had sleeves like this there, there's a reason they're being made right so i'm not saying that you know in and out burger would sell play mats i'm saying that they could promote their brand on play mats and the next example would also i've seen play mats of this as well Donuts, Krispy Kremes, I believe. Uh, but any local donut shop or um, catering, I know at Insomnia Games, which I love in Houston, there's Hugs and Donuts right next door, and they do special donuts for uh, video games. And I think it's wildly popular. I always go whenever there's a special donut because I take a picture of it, post it on Instagram. I haven't posted any recently, but you know, small local donut shops uh, would be a very good target. I think it would be a great sponsor. Next, chocolate. I see chocolate all the time. So whatever your store is currently selling, right? So are they selling Hershey's or Red Bull or um, in Texas, we have you know, these random sodas that are so Texas branded, I guess, with like real cane sugar. Why don't you promote, why don't these brands that are already selling to these local game players promote that? Because they would buy right Hershey's. I buy it all the time in my local game store. Next, uh, we have Popeyes. You know, I love my Popeyes, but the same with, you know, Cafe. Any of these stores, right? Any of these local stores or chain stores could sponsor this game. And it really wouldn't, I mean, it's so simple. Hey, this is my playmat with a Popeyes logo on it. These are sleeves with Popeyes sleeves on it. And this is a Popeye t shirt or, you know, jersey, if you will. And off you go. The next one um, is ice cream. Ice cream is uh, very important when I go play Magic. I could see a total sponsorship of ice cream because my local game store is ice cream. The last local game stores I played at, they all have ice cream. They have that little thingamajig where you put the ice cream in. And 
Yeah, I could totally see. So anytime we have food, uh, pre- probably junk food in the local game store, I could see those companies sponsoring play mats promoting that junk food because those Magic players eat them anyway. We eat junk food all the time. Next, Papa John's. How many times has your local game store, someone in your local game store, ordered Papa John's or your store itself? Yeah, Papa John's makes a lot of sense because Magic players eat pizza, and this would be a very good, in my opinion, promotion like hey are you a magic player save five dollars on you know a large pizza or, or something and then again it's so simple just make the play mats make the sleeves because most times i don't even recognize what a player looks like unless they're extremely famous so you have to kind of do other stuff again mms um cadbury all these stuff i see at the stores right at the local games anytime that you have a audience who would buy this stuff you have to you can promote it uh, and these could be the official candy of uh, magic or you know I, I mean yes it might not pay the most to begin with but i could see this happening i mean m, m- sponsors nascar i mean how's magic that different candy again candy being the number one i could see different candy teams like the Kit Kat team takes on the mm team takes on the you know cadbury team probably from london and yeah so you know why not like why should it be like this store versus that store or this uh, some teams don't even have like store related names right so why not instead of like samsung blue versus samsung white we would have kick hack red versus kick hack black again and the most you know it's krispy kreme i think it's just donuts i when I play Magic, we eat so many donuts all the time. I mean, I don't know why if that's because we have a donut place. Like, Shipley's ha- is a Texas... Like we have a Shipley's, which is donut and kolaches, and it's, like, every single place. And then when I go to the Summer Games, there's hugs and donuts, and there's dairy cream. It's ice cream. It's food. So those are the sponsorships. Did I miss any? Leave a comment below. You think this is a stupid idea? It might be, but, I mean, I mean it works. You know, Geico sponsors TSM. Why can't a Kit Kat bar, you know, and use a playing mat sponsor Magic? I don't get it. 